Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's finally the very first episode of my wedding series. You know, that's my trip or journey, I should say, to the altar because I'm getting married later this year. And just a little quick addendum to my actual name. It was originally Wedding Lovely, but then I actually had to change it. So now it's Wedding Lovelies. And again, I call you guys all lovelies anyway, so I just figured it works. So today's video is going to be my top five tips in starting to plan your wedding. Now, it's not to say that there aren't any more tips out there, but these are just the ones that I feel are the most important at least as per my opinion. Okay, so number five, if you're able to afford it to do so, I definitely recommend hiring a wedding planner. Now, typically a lot of companies out there, they'll have three main tiers. They'll have the very top tier, which is full planning, which is basically you, do, you tell them exactly what you want and then they run with it. They're the ones who plan and organize everything and all you have to do is just basically sign off on everybody that they've either recommended or the ones that you've decided to go ahead to go ahead and book. Second tier is partial planning where it's like you guys do half the work. So you take on half of the half of the work and then the planner does the rest. I decided to go down from tier two to tier one. Or tier three. The bottom the bottom tier, sorry. <laughs> I went from the, the middle tier to the bottom tier because of the fact that I realized that a lot of the things that I thought I needed help with, I was actually doing myself. So I was like, I really just need somebody that is going to be able to help me just tie up any loose ends the closer we got to the wedding day. So for that, I decided to go ahead and go with the month of coordination. And I figured that would be more beneficial to my and my fiance's needs, considering the fact that I've been planning and doing a lot of the organizing and, and stuff myself. And I definitely would just want somebody to be there, you know, closer once we get to the wedding day and especially during the wedding day because I just want to be able to enjoy that day and not have to worry or stress about anything and basically hand off control mm. <laughs> to, to somebody else so I don't have to worry about it. As hard as it's going to be, I just, I want to be able to enjoy that day. But if you're definitely able to, I highly, highly, highly recommend hiring a wedding planner. Even if you can't do full or partial, definitely somebody who does month of or day of coordination because they will help you so, so much. Number four is to pick the season in which you want to get married. I personally am getting married in the fall. However, just as an FYI, the two peak seasons right now are fall and spring. The main reason why they're so popular is because of the fact that in like the weather is really, really nice. And so obviously winter and summer, depending on where you want to get married in terms of location or anything like that, you either don't want to freeze to death or die of heat, especially if you're doing an outdoor ceremony. However, if you decide to do it during a peak season, just, just keep in mind that things may get a little pricier because of the fact that it's such high demand, but there's not enough supply. The next two tips, I would say they kind of go interchangeably. So three and two. <laughs> are basically to pick your style or your theme and to book your venue. Now, depending on what order you wanna go in, I personally would go with picking your style or your theme first, because then once you've picked that, then you can decide what kind of venue you wanna look for. Whatever it is that you decide, then once you know that type of style or theme, it kinda gives you a better um, idea as to what kind of venues you should be looking at or then if you decide to go ahead and book a venue that has nothing to do with your original style, then you can just change them accordingly as they as they go on. But definitely um, style or theme would be first. And then after that, if you already booked your wedding planner first, that's fine. But definitely the very first other vendor that you should book is your venue. And try to do this a good six to 12 months in advance because depending on the time of year, there's a lot of times where things may not be available and you may have to settle for what you don't want. And my number one top tip whilst planning your wedding is to please, please, please start early. Don't procrastinate. This is not some college paper that you can just do the night before and everything's fine. You cannot wait three months before you wanna get married and decide, hey, I want this venue, I want this photographer, I want these flowers. Guess what? You're most likely not gonna get that. So please, for the love of God, start early because it is not the vendor's fault or any company out there that you decided to wait to the last minute to say, hey, listen, are you available this day? And then when they tell you no, you can't get mad at them because you started so late. 
I personally would not have been able to do everything that I've been doing at this point and still be sane had I waited, had I waited very long. We basically started a year and a half before the wedding because I knew that I wanted to be as organized and plan everything out as soon as possible to make sure that the, that the closer we got to the date, everything would be pretty much booked and it was just check, 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 this is already done and then just be able to relax and then enjoy the countdown as we got closer. So as of right now, it's going really, really well for me. I am very, very excited. It still completely boggles my mind that our wedding is in seven months. Like it is absolutely insane, like it's nuts. <laughs> so those are my top five tips for any of you out there who either just got engaged or have been engaged for a while and are planning your wedding. I hope that this gives you kind of like a little bit of insight as to where to start. Cause I know, especially when you first get engaged, it's a lot to process. And then you're thinking, where do I begin? Well, take this video as kind of like a baseline of where you can begin and then just go from there. And there, again, there's a lot of information and more detailed things that you can look up online that basically give you like a nice little countdown timeline from the very, from the year point all the way to about a week to, to the actual wedding day as to what you should have booked or what you should do during that time. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'm very excited to be bringing you more episodes of my Wedding Lovelies, wedding lovelies series. And definitely make sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos that are coming in the future so that way you're up to date and you stay tuned for it all. And then I hope you have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it may be. And just I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.